Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I got all these Makeup Revolution products and I have yet to use any of them. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Um, I have the Revolution Foundation and this is in the shade F12. I have the concealer and it is in the shade C14. And I also have C10. I have the Revolution Makeup Fixing Spray. And I have this lip topper, it is exquisite. And then I have this eyeshadow palette. It is the Reloaded Neutrals 3. And I have the Revolution Highlighter Palette. And of course, you guys already know that I use the um, Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. And so I'm going to use all those products today and um, see how this goes. I'm using the ABH Dip Brow in the color Ebony for my brows. Okay, so these brows are looking really rough right now. But we're going to clean them up with the C10 Conceal and Define Concealer. And I'm only gonna do it on the bottom because it's like super, super light. And I don't like to have that halo, the halo look on the top of my brows. So I'm just gonna use it on the, the bottom of my brows and I'm gonna use my um, LA Girl Pro Conceal at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that same concealer, the C10. And I'm gonna use that on my eyelids. I'm just gonna smooth all that down and make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so like I said, I got this. Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 3 palette. And there, um, there are 15 colors in here and all of them are matte except for four of them. So that's like a, this one right here, this one right here, this one, and this one. These are all like shimmery, sparkly colors. So all the rest of them are matte colors so i'm gonna start with this color right here it's like the lightest color and i'm gonna use that on my brow bone next i want to use this color right next to it this like brownish color and i'm going to set that in my crease Okay, so next I'm gonna use this cranberry color. And I'm just gonna throw that right on top of the brown that I just used. And just to kind of deepen that a little bit. Okay, so my camera cut off and I did not know, was not paying attention. Um, so I think I skipped over a couple steps. Cranberry, and after the cranberry, I took this darker 
shade right here and I put that just in the corner right here and then blended it out. And so now I'm gonna take these two right here and I'm just gonna put them, I'm gonna blend them together on my lid. I'm just gonna make them with that darker color that I used on the outer corner. And I'm going to just tap it in there to kind of blend in the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes. I'm gonna add my lashes and my eyeliner. And I'll be right back. So I'm only gonna color correct half of my face because it does say that the Revolution Foundation is full coverage. So we're gonna see how full coverage it is. And I am using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Corrector. This shade looks like it is way too light for me. Way too light. It almost looks like it's the same color as the concealer. Definitely way too light. This is horrible. Look at this. <laughs> like, what the heck? Okay, so clearly this shade is not my color. It's way too light. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna finish the rest of the face and see if I can get this to kind of um, even out a little bit. And one of my brows are thinner than the other. It's definitely full coverage. I feel like it covered up a lot of my dark spots really well. Oh my God, I cannot get over how light this is. Okay. Look, it's like literally almost the same color as the concealer. I don't know if I can see that or not. Okay, so I'm gonna take a wet sponge and I'm gonna blend all that out. <laughs> this is definitely not helping. Okay, so I'm gonna take the baking powder and I'm gonna set where I just put all that concealer at. Okay. 
Y'all, I'm looking so crazy right now. It's not even funny. I'm gonna take this concealer and use this to contour. This is horrible. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Black Radiance Contour Palette to set my contour. Bring back some of this color on my face where it's super light at. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go back in with that palette and I'm gonna take that black right here. I'm gonna use that to kind of smoke out my bottom lash line. Okay, so this is the highlighter palette. All these colors are gorgeous. And I think I want to highlight with, I think I wanna do this color right here. That is super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray using the Revolution Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. It smells really weird. Like really weird. Ugh, I do not like that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use this uh, plum colored lip liner. I'm gonna mix this plum lip liner with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And this is in the shade 55 Inch Driver. I'm gonna take this Makeup Revolution Lip Topper and I'm gonna put this on top of that. And this is in the shade Exquisite. I think they had two different shades of this. One was like, this one's like a pink glitter. And the other one was like, um, had like gold glitter in it. Not sure if I like that on top of this, but um, it'll do for now. Okay, y'all, so I have to say that I feel like this look turned out pretty well. Even though the foundation, I feel like it was super light. I feel like once I got done contouring and, you know, adding my powder on top and setting everything that, you know, it kind of evened out well. Um, I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm gonna keep it and try to use it again because I feel like it, um, if it's something that I wanted to use and I didn't want to contour or, you know, add all the extra stuff to it, it wouldn't be something I would just be able to use alone, you know, because the foundation is so far off. I do like the foundation. I, it's definitely full coverage. Um, I love that about it um, because, yeah, I know I like to make sure that my dark, all my dark spots are covered up really well. And um, it definitely did that. Even on the side that I didn't color correct, um, it covered it very well. I think my favorite product out of all of the ones out of all the revolution products that i used today was the eyeshadow palette i think that all these colors are super dope and i mean the the mixture of the matte colors and the shimmer colors i think they're very pigmented and they go on nice and smooth and you know really easy i didn't have a lot of fallout um so that's a plus and all these products were really affordable let me see, the, I think the foundation was $12. The concealers were $7, seven or $8 a piece. This fix spray was $9. The lip topper was $7, seven or $6, six or $7. Um, the eyeshadow palette was Seven dollars, and the highlighter palette. I think this one was twelve dollars. Um, I believe. I'll make sure I have everything. Matter of fact, I still have the receipt. Okay, so yeah. So I think I said everything right. I think I was correct on the prices for everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I will make sure that I leave all the Revolution products that I used in the description box below. If you're new here and you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to tap the bell button so that you are notified every time that I post a new video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.